Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory go unto the Almighty Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash. All right, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of the one and only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, all right, and the Rakakadash, which is the Holy Spirit, all right. So here it is, you know, we are in those times, okay? We are in very perilous times, very dangerous and evil times, okay? And for years upon years, you know, the prophets, you know, the men of the Lord, okay, have been out here on the highways and byways, preaching and teaching, you know, rebuking, you know, those 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 of you wicked Israelites out there that don't want to take take heed and listen to the words of, of uh, the Lord, man, okay? And we've been out here all this time not preaching our own words, but the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you see? And as it is written, okay, the word, the words of the Lord's mouth shall not return unto him void, okay? Roughly paraphrasing. So whatever the Lord has spoken out of his mouth, these things shall come to pass, Okay? And this is just another example of prophecy unfolding within the earth, man. Okay. Prophecy unfolding at a rapid rate. Okay. Judgments are increasing. Okay. Evils are increasing within the earth. All right. Sorrows and, and grief and mourning is also increasing in the earth. Okay. And as time goes on, as prophecy furthers, you know, into the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, these things will only increase and continue to get worse, all right? But here it is, man, you know, I got two articles I want to bring out, you know, and of course, we're going to get into the precepts as well. But, you know, I just want to read these articles, you know, to bring home the point even more that, hey, all you scoffers out there, okay, all you scoffers out there that want to scoff at, you know, the word, that want to scoff at the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you want to scoff at, you know, the, uh, you know, the sincere men of the Lord that come out here, you know, and, and preach and preach unto you, man. Okay. You want to call us conspiracy theorists. You want to call us crazy. You know, you want to say that, you know, we, we, uh, you know, full of, full of demons that, you know, we, that we full of hate. All right. But Hey, here it is. Everything that we have spoken is coming to pass right before your very eyes. Okay. Everything that we have spoken, that's say if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming to pass within the earth. Okay. And it's not because we making it happen. It's because the Lord said that these things will happen. Okay. The Lord said that these things will happen and they happen it. Okay. So is the Bible, the white man's book now, <laughs> you know, is, is, uh, the Holy scriptures Esau's book. Okay. Hey, you gotta see what's going on and wake up. You know, it's hard time to wake out of sleep, man. All right. Playtime is over. All right, it's time to get real. It's time to repent because, hey, the Lord is bringing judgment to this to this wicked place very, very soon. All right, so let's get into this article. In the title, this is a Los Angeles Times article, and it says, LAPD setting up task force to address rise and follow home robberies. Okay, so let's read. Okay, it says, Los Angeles Police Chief Michelle Moore announced Tuesday he is setting up a task force to apprehend follow home robbers, saying the department has not seen violent holdups, quote unquote, like this in decades. See that? <laughs> so, hey, like like I was saying earlier, man, these things are only going to increase. These things are only going to get worse. OK, this is the beginning of the end, man. You see? Prophecy is unfolding within the earth, and because prophecy is unfolding, okay, the word says that perilous times shall come, okay? The word says that the love of many shall wax cold, okay? So this is why we're seeing an increase in crime. This is why we're seeing an increase in violent deaths, okay? In, you know, in an in, in increase in people's hearts becoming cold, okay? That's why these things are happening, because... The scripture said that they would happen. All right. As it says here in this article. 
says saying the department has not seen violent holdups like this in decades. Hey, so this is unprecedented, man. You know, it's like, you know, for a time it was really bad. Then it kind of got better. Now it's going back to how it was, you know, decades ago. OK, in the in the 80s and the 90s. OK, you know, stuff was off the chain, man. You know, it's actually regressing back to that. All right. And it's going to get worse than that. OK, it's, it's going to get way worse than that, man. It's going to be complete chaos out here. But continuing on. The troubling trend, which has targeted celebrities and upscale restaurants. See that has targeted celebrities in upscale restaurants in recent months turned deadly in the pre-dawn hours Tuesday when a man was gunned down outside ba Bosa Nova restaurant in Hollywood. Hey, so see that? These things is being taken to Hollywood, man. Okay? These things ain't just happening in the hood. These things ain't just happening in the ghetto. This, this, Hey, this shit is going down in Hollywood. You see that? So, hey, this is coming to Salakia. So, hey, this is coming to a neighborhood near you. All right? Hey, when you step out your, your front door, man, hey, you got to have your head on a swivel, you know, because it's some it's some hungry wolves out there looking for a meal. All right. And you don't want to be a victim. OK, you got to pray that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, keep that hedge of protection over you in this time. OK, because things, things are getting real out here, man. OK, whenever you have violent crimes, OK, shootings happening in Hollywood. OK, Hollywood is a very nice area of L.A. OK, that's that's like, you know, where all the celebrities and all the, you know, public personalities like that's that's where they be at actors or whatever. That's where they be at, man. And, you know, violent crimes are happening <laughs> outside of restaurants in Hollywood, man. So, you know, that should show you what climate that we're living in. OK. Reading on Moore told the city's civilian oversight police commission he was creating a follow home robbery task force of more than 20 Detectives drawn from elite investigative divisions, including robbery, homicide, metropolitan and specialized gang units to identify and stop the growing threat to public safety posed by organized groups of criminals. The department is already investigating more than 100 such damn 100 such 100 such robberies in the last few months from areas, including the Sunset Strip, Melrose Avenue the jewelry district and West side shopping areas. Okay. And to me, you know, I don't live in LA. I'm on the East coast, but you know, these, you know, just reading these names, sunset strip, Melrose Avenue, you know, West side. Okay. This, these, these sound like very, um, affluent, you know, more rich people type of areas, man. So, Hey, you know, this is where the crime is going down at. Okay. Like, you know, it's always been crime in the hood, but Hey, these things are starting to reach to the, to the to the suburbs man why because people understand that this is where the resources are okay that the rich people have all all the stuff man so they gonna go where they know where you know where the getting is good so to speak man okay now let's see if i can get this full article so we can get some more out of this okay all right just give me one second okay so it says the department is already investigating at least 133 such robberies from areas, including the Sunset Strip, Melrose Avenue, Jewelry District and West Side shopping areas. In the latest incident, a man was sitting inside his vehicle, along with a female passenger near Bosa Nova. The woman stepped outside and eight people approached her from a car and tried to rob her, police said. The man who was described only as a 23 year old was coming to the aid of a female who was being attacked by the robbers when he was fatally shot shortly after 2 a.m. Moore said a police department spokesman said the man who was shot was armed. See that? <laughs> hey, hey, stuff is cutthroat out here, man. You know, you try to step in, you know, to, to you know, help someone and you end up dying. OK, even when you got. A weapon on you you still end up dying man okay so that should just go to show you that in these times man it don't matter you know if you got something on you or not okay you have to have the 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 uh, hedge of protection of your how about shim y'all was shy upon you man because if you don't have that hey anything any and anything can happen to you out here okay you, you don't have no protection you see 
So this is why, you know, having the protection of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, especially in these last days is very important. Okay, because things like this can happen to you, you know? And like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying it, these things are gonna get worse. Okay, these things are gonna increase, okay? Do do the scriptures not say that men's hearts shall fail them for for uh, fear, man? Men's hearts shall fail them for fear because why? They're going to be seeing stuff like this happening all over the place. Okay, this, this is going to become common, you know, common, uh, you know, common things, man. You know, people getting robbed, people getting killed right in front of you, man. You know, you coming out the supermarket, somebody getting shot in the head, you know, for 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 a shopping cart or groceries. You know, this, this is the time that's coming, man. You know, this is the time that we living in. Okay, stuff is about to get real evil out here, man. You know, worse than it already is. But continuing on, robberies are increasingly turning violent, and many are occurring after a person is followed from an establishment to their car or home, the chief said. The impact this is having on the sense of community or safety is profound, Moore said. While robberies are up 3.2% this year compared with 2020, but down compared with 2019, Moore said the more alarming trend is the propensity of the suspects to use firearms to get what they want. They are willing to use deadly force for items of value. OK, and this is what I was saying in a couple videos back, man, that hey, real soon, you're not going to be able to just walk, you know, inside of these supermarkets. OK, you're not going to be able to just walk inside a store and just get what you want and walk out like it is now. OK, I was basically saying in that video that, hey, you know, real soon there's going to be checkpoints. OK, before you go inside the store, they're going to be, you know, scanning you down with a metal detector. OK, they're going to be, you know, patting you down. All right. They're going to be asking for your for your ID. OK, just to go inside the store, because hey, things like this are going to become so common that they're not going to have no choice, man. OK, they, you know. There, there's going to be armed guards, armed security in front of these stores, okay? Making sure that you don't have any weapons on you. So, number one, so people don't get hurt. And number two, so, you know, none of, you know, none, none of uh the, uh you know, goods and supplies that these stores are going to have in stock, you know, are, you know, able to be stolen. You see? So, hey, you know, this is what's coming. All right. Um, what does it say? OK, Moore told Los Angeles police commissioners with more suspects being armed, he warned there is a more there is more of the potential for matters to escalate to something that we saw this morning. And that's all that's going to happen, man. OK, these, these things are only going to get worse. OK, it's only going to get worse in the Wilshire division, which includes much of the Melrose Avenue commercial strip. Robberies have jumped 20 percent this year. Moore also said he was stepping up patrols around high-end retailers after the Nordstrom at the Grove was the target of a smash and grab of 18 to 20 people who stole 5,000 worth of merchandise after breaking a display window with a scooter and sledgehammer. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, listen, man. Hey. Hey. Like I'm going to keep saying, you know, people are desperate, man. Okay, people out here, they're starting to become unhinged, okay? The price of gas, the cost of living, okay? You know, scarcity of, of food, okay? These things are causing people to go buck wild, man, okay? People are turning into into, into a wild beast. You see, people are turning, are turning into straight up wild beasts out here, man. All right? And, the, you know... We in a time where a hey, people don't give a damn. Okay, people will kill you for a damn ham sandwich. All right, these are the times that we coming into, man. Okay, you gonna just look at somebody? Okay, hey, it, it, <laughs> really, hey, it's, it's it's really coming to the point where you're not even gonna be able to look at people, man. Like you don't even want to make eye contact with people because people just gonna be so full of demons and just so you know void of any kind of love or compassion that, hey, you you know what I'm saying? You can even just look at somebody and they, they be ready to kill you, man. You know, they they, they just got a heavy spirit of just of just murder in, in their heart, man. You see? So, hey, th these are the things. <laughs> and, hey, it's a lot more. Hey, we get articles all the time, man. You know, there's a lot more articles out there, 
there's so many articles of, you know, bad things happening to people that we can't even bring it out, you know? Like, like you know, we there's so many things going on that we can't even bring out all this information, man, because, you know, it it, it is just overwhelm us, you know? But we get what we can get, you know? But here it is, <laughs> you know? They... They they ran up in Nordstrom, okay, and they eighteen to twenty people. Hey, so this this you know this, this is a gang. This is a gang of people. You know what I'm saying eighteen to twenty people, man. Yo, that's that's a lot of people to be running up in the store. You know, so they stole five thousand worth of merchandise, and they broke the damn window with a scooter and a sledgehammer. You see, the chief said it was the latest incident nationwide of groups targeting high-end retailers. Moore said three suspects were apprehended by officers after a pursuit to South LA, where some of the stolen merchandise was found inside their gateway vehicle. Those high-end outlets and restaurants are also found, are also where the home, follow home robbers are surveilling their targets. Two weeks ago, a crew of mass robbers tracked actor and former BET house Terrence Jenkins to his Sherman Oaks home and tried to block him in with an SUV, but he was able to flee in his car as shots were fired. <laughs> See that? So, hey, even 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 high profile people, man, are experiencing this thing. OK, so this thing is so bad that they have to create a follow home robbery task force, man. What is that telling you? And and this isn't just in LA. This is all across America. Okay, these these things are happening all across the U.S. You see, this this not happening just in California. All right, this, this is just one case of of many that's that's out there, man. Okay, these, pretty soon, you, yo, this thing is gonna be so in your face to the point where you know it's gonna be all over the news. You know, it's gonna be all over the news. You see. So, hey, man, you know, very perilous times. And, and let's get that, you know, Timothy, the third chapter. OK, so here it is. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers. False accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Is this not the times that, that we living in? Okay. Is this not describing to a T the character of people that exist today, man? Okay. Lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Is this not, you know, listen, the scriptures are describing the character of people that exists today. <laughs> okay. This is, this is describing the character of people that exist today. All right. To a T reading on the fourth verse, traitors, heady, high minded lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. In this world, do people not put the, their worldly possessions over the things of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? OK, if you try to go and preach to a rich person, hey, you were Israelite, you know, what I'm saying the kingdom of heaven is coming. Repent, you know, turn back unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see. They're going to look at you like, you know, or, you know, they're going to look at you funny, like, you know, like, why are you telling me this? And, you know, they're going to be like, well, I already have a relationship with God. You know, they're going to tell you, oh, yeah, I already have a relationship with God. OK. They're not going to give it them. They ain't trying to hear that. Why? Because they already have all of these material possessions in this world, man. So they don't give a damn about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? So they put their material possessions over the Heavenly Father. Okay? Over Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Okay? So they'll tell you that, yeah, I do believe in God. Okay? I do believe in the Bible. Okay? But they don't do nothing of what it says in the Bible, man. Okay. They don't keep the Sabbath. Okay. These people are full of pork. Okay. Full of, full of, uh, you know, abominations, crab, shrimp, and lobster. Okay. Eating, you know, rats and, you know, all kinds of abominations, man. Okay. So having a form of godliness. Okay. They may, they may profess to believe in the scriptures. They may profess to believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, but denying the power thereof, but they don't really believe because they don't do nothing that the word tell them to do. Okay. From such turn away for out of this sort 
are they which creep into houses. You see? <laughs> Is that not what we read in this article, man? Okay, people creeping into houses. Okay, people following people home, breaking up in their house and, and uh, robbing them. Is this not the very thing that we're reading about, man? So, hey, the scriptures are faithful and true, man. Okay, this is the only book on the planet Earth that can, you know, describe to a T what's going on in today's time. And this book was written thousands and thousands of years ago, man. OK, these scriptures are ancient. OK, this thing was written before any of us even got here, man. So, hey, this right here is the truth, man. OK, you ain't getting no no truth from, you know, Islam. OK, you may get some worldly truth from Islam. OK, you may get some, you know, black empowerment from, you know, the nation of Islam or Kemet or, you know, whatever, whatever else you want to deal with, man. OK, but, you, you know, you can't go into those books. OK, you can't go in there. And, and, you know, dig up prophecies and, you know, line it up with what's going on today. Hey, the scriptures are the living waters, man. OK, this 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 is a living book. You see, this is a living, breathing book, man. OK, and this is evidence of that. For out of this for out of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive, silly women laden with sins, led led away with diverse lusts. OK, and also what you'll find today is there's a rise in in our uh, rape okay and and you know there's a there's a huge rise against you know violence against women in general okay women women are you know catching hell out here okay but they're not putting it out there in the news like that because they don't want to cause panic and fear but it's happening okay you know i did a video you know a couple weeks ago where you know it was in philly and this woman, hey, she was getting raped, straight up raped on the train, man. Okay, people, you know, was aware that this thing was going on and everything. Okay, nobody called police. You know, the uh, driver of the train didn't stop the train. Okay, nobody did nothing. Okay, people just let it go down. You see, and that's and that's the love of many waxing cold. You see, and lead captive city women laden with sins. Led away with diverse lust, man. Okay, so, hey, all hell is breaking loose out here. Okay, and, and, and you know, the men of the Lord, we've been, we've been prophesying these things because the Lord tell us to prophesy these things, man. Okay, the Lord tell, the Lord tell, uh, tell us to prophesy these things before they go down so the people don't have an excuse to forbear. You see? And that's a scripture, I believe, that's in, that's in uh, Amos. Let me see if I can pull that up. Um... Except he revealed to the prophets. Just give me one second. I believe that's in Amos. Yep, Amos 3, 3, 7th verse, 7 to the 8th verse. All right. So this is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will do nothing. But he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, so the Lord is revealing his his secrets, okay, is revealing the prophecies unto unto his servants, man. And we are his mouthpiece. So we come out here and we tell you of these things that are gonna go down, okay? We we be going into the articles, okay, we be going into the videos, okay, and we break these things down via the scriptures. Okay, so you can clearly see what's going on. And what these things are going to lead to, man. Okay. And this is all this is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Okay, so hey, out there, out there in LA, they got a follow home robbery task force. <laughs> they got a task force for, for uh follow home robberies, man. And this is how you know that you know Esau is really full of full of, you know, it's just full of it. Because it you know, it been follow home robberies happening, man. But now because really now because it's is, you know, getting into Hollywood and it's affecting the rich. Now Esau wants to do something about it. OK, now he really wants to crack down and create a task force. But when it's happening in the hood, OK, when it's happening in the impoverished areas, Esau just let these things go on. You see, but now because it's affecting the rich now, now he wants to care. OK, now he wants to you know, put something together to stop these things from going down. You see, so hey, Esau's a damn hypocrite, man. You see, this damn devil's a hypocrite. All right, but let's get this let this next article. We're gonna close it out. All right. So this is similar to 
one of the events that they were saying happened in that article we just read. All right, so it says flash mob of 30 looters rampage through Minnesota Best Buys. Thieves take TVs, tablets, and hoverboards as smash and grabs spread beyond California. And like I said, these things are not just happening in California, okay? These things are happening nationwide, okay? These things are happening nationwide, you see? They're just not bringing a lot of this stuff out in the news, but there are articles out here going into this stuff, man. But, hey, hey these things are happening all over the place, okay? So it says, dozens of looters descend on a mall in Minnesota and brazenly march through two Best Buy locations, taking whatever they liked with them off the shelves. One incident occurred near the Burnsville Mall in suburban Minneapolis with about 12 people rushing in, rushing in to steal items while a second incident occurred in Maplewood, about 25 miles northeast on Friday, with a larger group of 30 people looting electronics. <laughs> so, hey, man, hey, these people out here just completely, just completely gone, okay? They, you know, they, they just don't give a damn, you see? They just going in there, taking what they want, and there's, you know, really no consequences, man, okay? People in this day and time, are not willing to lose their life over some damn electronics, man, okay? People that work there, they just trying to do their job and go home. They, you know, they ain't trying to get into nothing extra. They ain't trying to wrestle with nobody, fight with nobody to get back none of these items, man. Because, yo, at the end of the day, a lot of these corporations, okay, whether it be Best Buy, Target, Walmart, okay, they, they, don't, they don't give a damn about your life, man, okay? They just see you as, you know, an expendable slave, you know? So, hey, if they want to go up in there and, you know, take these things, you know, let them, you know, just go ahead and just let them take it, man, you know? Because, hey, you know, at the end of the day, it's not worth losing your life over some, you know, petty TV or, uh, you know, an Apple tablet or whatever, man, you know? So, hey, you know, a lot, a lot of people, you know, they just letting these things happen, you know? And then, then it's, it's a group of them. It's a group of 20, 20, 30 30 people just running up and then just, you know, just going crazy. So it's like, what are you really going to do? You know, but reading on, it is the latest in quote unquote flash mob thievery, organized crime incidents as California is grappling with a slew of smash and grab heists, especially at luxury stores. At least 30 people headed into a Best Buy store in Burnsville, Minnesota, pictured on Black Friday at around 8 p.m. and stole electronics. 15 miles south of Minneapolis. Okay, a second Best Buy 25 miles away was also raised on Friday with around 12 people heading into the store in the city of Maplewood pictured. Well, damn. <laughs> you see, so, hey, these things are happening all over the place, okay? Local police have not said much, have not said how much merchandise was stolen but noted that those involved in the heist did not use any weapons as they took TVs, tablets, and hoverboards away with them. And then, hey, you, you know you know what? I feel like a lot of these, or, you know, at least some of them, some of these things are, are, are uh, orchestrated, man. Okay? Maybe some people that, that work in some of these stores, you know, they, they just may be like, hey, man, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you you can come in here at such and such time and just take what you want. You know, ain't, ain't nobody going to stop you, you know? Or maybe it could even be be Esau setting these things up, man. Okay, Esau could be paying agents to go in these stores and, you know, cause all this havoc so, you know, he can justify furthering his, his NWO even more, okay? You know, because then he's going to say, oh, yeah, well, you know, we having all this crime and, you know, people are getting hurt. People are losing jobs. You know, these businesses are losing money. So we got to shut these things down. OK, we need law and order. OK. So, hey, who knows what's really going on, man? But at the end of the day, it's all Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, putting the spirits on people to do what they do. You see, it's all it's all to the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. OK. Now, let's see. Yeah, so that's, you know, it's pretty much it. You know, you get you get the gist of what's going on. But here it is, all right? This is leading up to 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. And it says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Oh, yeah, so they're going, you know, 
they gonna they ain't they, you know people not gonna have no pity upon their neighbor okay they gonna run up they gonna run up in your house okay run up in your business and spoil it with the sword man they gonna take what they want with the sword with with uh the gun okay some people some people might have sledgehammers okay some people might have actual swords okay people might run up in there with actual swords man you see and spoil their goods because of what because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So, hey, these things are going to go down because of the lack of bread, the lack of food, and for great tribulation, man. Okay? That's why these things are going to happen. You see? And these are the conditions that are being created in this current time. And this is why people are going so crazy. You see? Now, let's see. So, this is the, the second Ezra 15, the 14th verse. Behold, the plagues are sent. And shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backwards. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? You see? So Ezra is saying, woe is me. Who was going to who was going to deliver me in those days? You see, times are going to get so bad and so evil. Hey, <laughs> the only hope you're going to have is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. The 18th verse, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. Are we not seeing famine happening right now? OK, are we not seeing a lot of these supermarkets, a lot of these grocery stores? OK, covering up you know, empty spots on shelves with decoys and, you know, trying to fill it in to make it look like it's not really happening. Are, are we not seeing that right now? In great death. OK, people dropping dead left and right. <laughs> you know, people dropping dead left and right out here, man, every day. You know, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? You see, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Now, now, now let's see for the sake of edification. Let's, let's look up that word amendment. Okay. We already know what it means, but just, just for edification amendment definition amendment, a minor change or addition designed to improve a text piece of legislation, etc. Okay. So a, these these things are going to be, uh, you know, in, implemented in the earth to correct those that break the law. And what law? The laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. OK, these things are coming for the wicked. You see? So, hey, all these things coming upon the earth. These are scourges for amendment, man. Amendments to the law of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Nor be mind, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Okay, so all you know, all this hell gonna come upon the earth. Okay, people, famine is gonna be here. Okay, great tribulation is gonna be here. But guess what? People still not gonna turn from their wickedness, man. People still gonna be out here doing wickedness. Okay, they they still not gonna turn back to Yahweh Bashib Yahweh Shai. And it says, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so shall be so good cheap upon earth which is how it is right now, okay, things are still kind of affordable, all right, things are still kind of cheap, okay, you you can, you know, a steak is expensive, okay, you, you you know what I'm saying, you can go out there and buy a steak for what, like, you know, $25, okay, but wait till a damn steak costs $200, okay, wait, you know what I'm saying, wait till the steak gets to get to 150 man, okay, that's what's coming, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, so because victuals, you know, goods and items are still relatively cheap right now. OK, people think people think that, you know, everything is good. You know, they don't have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you know, Salakia, that they don't have nothing to worry about. But hey, all, all that, you know, the most high is about to flip the script, man. OK, the most high is about to let things get real dirty out here. You see that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then. Shall evils grow upon the upon earth? Sword, famine, and great confusion. <laughs> All right. So hey, you get a hey, you know, you get you know what I'm saying. You 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 get the picture. 
Okay, Second Ezra 15 is a great chapter, man. Okay, this Second Ezra 15 is a great chapter, you know, for, you know, for what's going on today. All right, so you know, you you can read that on your own time, get more edification, you know. But um, yeah, man. Okay, the plagues are here. Okay, famine and death, the sword. You okay? These these things are here, man. You know, and and they're not going away. These things are going to increase to the utmost in this time, all right? Because these devils have a short time. They want all this chaos to, to go on so that they can, you know, forward their end of your agenda. And ultimately, they really only forwarding the most highest agenda, which is to get this damn devil out of power, okay? And to set up the kingdom of heaven and righteousness, which will reign over the earth in complete truth and prosperity, all right? So hopefully this lesson was edifying to the Rakaq Kadash man. I'm going to say, call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakaq All right, peace and blessings to all the Akim and all the Akwat out there listening to learning, diligently pushing this truth to the four corners of the earth. All right, until next time, Lord willing, I say, Shalom to the elect.